Hiya, Tay here from Rise Up Fitness for Riders. I was going to do a video outside today, but it's very dark and gloomy, and I think it's going to rain. So I thought I'd just get in my car, and that kind of gave me an idea for today's video. So um, about how you sit in your car is really, really important, and it shouldn't really be something that's overlooked. So especially if you do a lot of driving, maybe you drive like for even just half an hour a day, or you sit in a lot of traffic, um, your body's in that position for, in the same position for a long period of time. So if your chair is set, um, so it's sitting quite far back, you might find that actually you're sitting in quite a slouched position which is one thing that we definitely want to avoid as riders. We want to always be able to train our muscles to sit up tall, sit in a good neutral spine so that our back's protected, our core can engage, our chest is open, our back muscles are working. Whereas if your uh, chair is set back, then you're going to come into this curled over position. Your, your lower back's going to be arching. It can give you back pain. Um, there's all sorts of different things that can happen from sitting badly in your car. So um, people always say to me that I have my chair um, quite upright and actually I have my chair in a normal position and it's just actually uh, more common for people to have their chairs set further back. So I have my chair set up so that when I'm sitting in my car that um, I'm sitting in like a tall position so my back is ni nice and straight, my core is engaged. Um, I don't really have to think about it, it's just the way that my chair is set and the then when I get out of the car, I don't feel like I need to stretch. I never feel uncomfortable. I actually feel, I feel quite good. So what I'm saying is, it's really important with how you sit in your chair at work, uh, in your chair in the car, because your muscles are going to adapt to this position. So if, especially if you're there for quite a while, then your muscles are going to start to lengthen, tighten, uh, get stronger in this position. And it could possibly be a position that you don't want your body to be in, it's, and it's going to affect our riding. So if you think how we should sit on the horse... If you're sitting the complete opposite for, say, 90% of your day, then that's not going to help your riding at all. So just think about how you're sitting and maybe adjust a few of your chairs and just be conscious of it. So if you found this helpful, please like, share, check out my other videos. I've got lots of videos on different exercises and I am updating my videos really regularly. So subscribe to my YouTube channel and then you'll get notified when I send new videos out. The next video I'm doing is about balance. So keep an eye out for it and I will see you then.